Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So if I time this right, the day that this is going up, I will probably be getting to the Port of Miami going on a cruise. Um, it'll be the first cruise of Royal Caribbean out of the US since the shutdown. So one of the things I was doing personally was researching facial sunscreens. So growing up and even probably up until the last maybe five or six years, I wasn't really good about wearing sunscreen, especially on my face, and it showed. I had a lot of sunscreen spots and um, about three or four years ago I had my first halo treatment I ended up having to I actually put a card up here to a link to my second treatment and that was incredible like it really took a lot of the sunspots away and since I've had that I have really been really focusing on taking care of my skin better and one of the things that um, that entails is wearing sunscreen every day. So I've been really, really adamant about wearing sunscreen every day. And, but sun, some sunscreens wear well with the skin and wear well with makeup and some don't. And then sometimes I want something more a little heavier duty if I'm going to, let's say Disney World or on a cruise and I'm going to be in the sun a lot more. So I started kind of doing some research as far as which ones I like, which ones wear well under makeup. And then I thought, you know what, this would be a great video so that is what we're doing today I have 14 so I actually did I've been trying a lot of these for a while now but then I did I basically wore each of them for a two-week period one each day and kind of I have some notes now I will say none of them are bad so it's not I'm not gonna rank them I'm going to do half of them are chemical and then half of them are mineral so we'll be going through kind of um, I think we're gonna start with the chemical first and start with the most expensive go down to the cheapest and then go into the mineral same thing and then I'll kind of give you my points as far as who I think it might be good for and I actually like all of them there's some I definitely like more and there's some I like more for every day and then there's some that I like for more like a special occasion or if I'm going on the cruise, etc. So that is what we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, as I already said, I have both um, chemical and mineral sunscreens. So um, just kind of do a little research. Here's some notes. There are two main types of facial sunscreens available, mineral and chemical, also sometimes called physical sunscreen. So mineral are sometimes called physical because they kind of sit on top of your skin. Um, mineral sunscreens work by reflecting UV rays away from your skin. These sunscreens often contain zinc oxide, titanium dioxide, or a combination of both ingredients. Chemical sunscreens absorb UV energy and convert it to heat. Common active ingredients in chemical sunscreens include oxybenzone and avobenzone. So I'll, I'll kind of go over which ones um, are which and then which what ingredients they have as well as their price tag and how much it costs. But rule of thumb is chemical sunscreens go before your moisturizer because they need to be absorbed into your skin. So you would place them before, put your moisturizer on, and then your makeup. Again, always leave about 15 minutes. And then with a mineral sunscreen, you place, you do all your, your skincare, you place your um, moisturizer on, and then you place the sunscreen. So chemicals before moisturizer, mineral is after. And you know, I think that's where I've kind of leaned now towards some of the chemical ones for every day um, if I am going to be wearing makeup. And I'll kind of go into that a little bit as well. So let's go ahead and get started with our chemical. So as I mentioned, I have seven in each category. And the first is the Ahava Extreme Lotion Daily Firmness and Protection Broad Spectrum SPF 30. This runs for $78 at 1.7 fluid ounces. Now I was sent this um, for free, complimentary, by Ahava to for purposes of reviewing. And so thank you very much. Um, but this says it's an ideal makeup base. This hydrating lotion is formulated with powerful ingredients found in Earth's most extreme locations to reinforce skin's firmness and defend it against external aging factors, including UV rays. Um, this one I love it feels like a moisturizer so it kind of serves as a moisturizer and a primer and I've used that this is what I like pretty much right now for every day so while I did receive this complimentary and for free I definitely see myself purchasing it more I can't speak to the daily firmness but it does have ingredients that 
as someone who's turning 45 in 11 days, this is something that it, I, it has ingredients that I look for in a moisturizer, plus it has the benefits of having SPF, and it does kind of serve as a, um, a primer as well. This is one that I'm taking on my vacation when I'm going on the cruise. This is what I'll be wearing every morning. I'll be putting this on. If I put other things on as well, I might on top of this to layer for double protection, but this is one I'm absolutely taking. And this is one I could see myself taking to, you know, wearing at Disney as well absolutely love it it's worth it i think if you are in your mid 40s and looking for good skincare an spf that's going to feel like a moisturizer and serve as a makeup primer this one is fantastic so that was our most expensive the second most expensive is the la roche posay and and theos 50 and it is a daily anti-aging primer with sunscreen and what it says is a light uh, lightweight oil absorbing face serum with a mousse like uh, mousse texture that leaves skin with a soft matte finish this oil free sunscreen for face also helps blur the look of fine lines wrinkles and visible pores for younger looking skin and my notes is that it very felt very much like a primer non-greasy wore well under the makeup and it's a wonderful dual action sunscreen and primer again this doesn't feel like a sunscreen it doesn't smell like a sunscreen it felt like a makeup primer so if you're going to be wearing makeup this is not one i would wear on my own um this is something i would wear specifically if i'm going out and maybe going to the theme parks this is something i would wear under my makeup because it feels like it serves as a primer and a sunscreen so you don't need an additional um you don't need an additional primer with the sunscreen and plus it's spf 50. So this is really great. This one runs for $40 for 1.7 fluid ounces. So it's great. I think I would like both. If I was going to the theme parks, I would probably choose this one just because it has a higher SPF. And but the other one, the Ahava, I would probably wear more for every day. Okay, so number three is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. This one's really popular. I actually got this one in the FabFitFun for summer, and it was one of the ones I chose. It runs $34 for 1.7 fluid ounces, so it's kind of in the same range as the La Roche. And it says this innovative antioxidant rich multitasker has a unique oil free formula that glides onto skin while providing broad spectrum SPF 40 protection. Use it as a makeup grip gripping primer, primer under foundation when you want a little more coverage or on its own if you want a more natural look. Um, this again felt like it's going on as a primer. If you've ever worn the Smashbox primer, this is what it feels like. It feels just like that. It does wear really, really well under makeup. Um, I said this goes on like a primer and it feels like one. Uh, it feels a lot like the Smashbox primer and very lightweight and more well under my makeup. So again, if you're looking for a primer, a little less expensive than the La Roche, um, really, I mean, I think you can buy this. I know you can buy it at Sephora. They have their own website. Really great. I love it. Works really, really well under makeup. So my the next one is another one from Supergroup, and this is the Play sunscreen. And this is SPF 50 and this is an everyday lotion so this is different this one feels more like um the like a traditional moisturizing sunscreen this if i was wearing makeup and i was going out i would wear i would use the un, the unseen or the um the La Roche if I was going to be wearing makeup. This is something that is like an everyday sunscreen. It feels like a moisturizer. It does have kind of, it feels more like a traditional sunscreen, but it blends really well. And again, it's SPF 50. So this is something that I think, I think it would wear well under makeup, but I wouldn't wear this if I wanted, you know, if I was going to be putting on some makeup for, you know, work or something, this would be great. Um, but if I was going out like for a theme park or something where I was going to a special occasion, then I would probably choose the other two because those are more like a primer. This, um, I think you could wear a primer as well. This is probably more like a moisturizer type sunscreen, but really, really great. This I think is great for every, every day. Um, this, I only have, I have the mini. So this is one ounce, one fluid ounce, and this runs $10. The, I believe it's 2.4 ounces is $22. So 
this one's considerably less. You get more product for $22, considerably less than the other ones. The $10 one I was able to get on Supergoop. Um, I was able to try it, really, really like it. I could see myself buying it. So if you want something for every day, I think the Supergoop Play is definitely you know, a really good one to have. So now we're getting into the drugstore um, sunscreens. So the next one is the Neutrogena Invisible Daily Defense Face Serum SPF 60 Plus. So this runs $17.99 for 1.7 fluid ounces, and this is pretty much like a serum. It felt like a serum, and you know, really, really nice. I put my notes: truly invisible, goes on seamlessly, and absorbs quickly. Not incredibly moisturizing, so you could use an additional moisture if you need not greasy at all wears well under makeup and that's because it feels like a serum it goes on like a serum so it wears well under makeup um, it says this oil-free facial serum protects against the sun and environmental aggressors while helping even sick skin tone and boosting moisture it helps prevent sunburn with broad spectrum UVA UVB protection lightweight and gentle the skin hydrating serum is infused with ginger extract to improve skin radiance and an antioxidant complex to help fight environmental environmental factors. So I really like this $17.99. You know, you get it at, you can get it at Walgreens. That's where I got it. So it was $17.99, but I was able to, I think they had to buy one, get one 50% off. Plus when you buy through like Walgreens, if you have an FSA card so that, you know, flexible spending, this sunscreens count. So a lot of times you can't use at Sephora and like Ulta, they, they don't accept those uh, those cards, but Walgreens does. So I was able to buy some sunscreens using my FSA card. So, you know, you can spend a little bit more if you're be able to buy them at like CVS or Walgreens and um, because that you can use your FSA card if you have one, or you can get reimbursed if you, you know, use it that way. But I really like this. Um, I like the way it goes under. If you are, you know, have a dry skin, Skin, you probably need another moisturizer if you have oily skin this might be perfect but I thought this was really great okay so our sixth in the chemical sunscreen category is this Innis free daily UD, UV defense sunscreen broad spectrum SPF 36 and it's 1.69 fluid ounces and it runs $15 so again a little bit less but probably probably as far as um, the play might even be a little bit um, cheaper just because of you get more product for 22 but it's probably around the same price this would cost you a little bit less you can get this I think I got this one on Amazon so it was a little bit cheaper but you can also get it at I believe Sephora so this one I put went on very easily no scent skin felt a little dewy but not greasy it wore well under makeup so this one does have a little bit more greasy so if you are oily this is probably not going to be one that you're going to like but you would probably like the Neutrogena more but if you have dry skin then this might be one that you would like and it's a really great price point wore well under makeup you don't necessarily need another moisturizer on top so this one's a really good option as well and our last one in the chemical sunscreen category is the Hawaiian Tropic weightless um, lotion silk hydration weightless lotion for face SPF 30 and this one is $8.99 for 1.7 fluid ounces and um, like I said I got the other one and the Neutrogena I think I bought it with this and I think I got this 50% off so you can get you know great deals if you buy on Walgreens and then again use your uh, FSA card it says this lightweight breathable formula feels as if it's barely on it has an ultra light texture that feels light and smooth on skin leaving a weightless matte finish on your skin so your skin can breathe the unique dual ribbon hydrating formula offers 12 hours of moist um moisture and it says now my notes were that it does have that hawaiian tropic smell so it smells like hawaiian tropic sunscreen so not bad i like that smell but for some people if you're sensitive to fragrance then you're not going to like this um it does leave skin a little greasy but it does absorb well if you wait 10 15 minutes so if you're trying to put on um, fast and then put on your makeup then this is not the one for you if you have the time to wait 10 15 minutes let it absorb then this would be good could be used as a moisturizer, very moisturizing, and wears well under makeup. So again, it wore well under makeup, but again, if you have oily skin, this is probably not one for you, but if you have dry skin, you might like it. Again, and if you're sensitive to fragrance, you're not gonna like it, but I like the Hawaiian Tropic and makes you feel like you're on vacation.
Now we're getting into the mineral sunscreen. So again, minerals, mineral sunscreens are physical sunscreen and they you wear them on top of your moisturizer and a lot of times they have a tint and a lot of these do have tints. Um, I didn't include any that are a, um, a tinted moisturizer or that have SPF because I, I felt like that's a different category. These are more that are specific SPF. Some of them just happen to have tint. So the first one we're gonna discuss is Obagi Medical. This is the Soothing Complex Calming Lotion Broad Spectrum SPF 25. This runs 70, $79 for 1.6 fluid ounces. And it says this, it delivers lightweight coverage as it keeps your skin moisturized, moisturized and protected from UV rays throughout the day. Ideal for all skin types, this facial moisturizer has a tinted formula and is enhanced by soothing and hydrating ingredients such as aloe vera and sodium hyaluronic. Hyalurate. I can't pronounce that word. Um, this is, it's the, it's titanium dioxide 4.8 and it does have a slight tint but it's it it's sheer it goes on it pretty much shears out very quickly it is a little greasy at first and but it absorbs within 5 10 15 uh, minutes very moisturizing would not recommend this for oily skin so this is like this is one that you would use as a moisturizer it's only spf 25 so this is not something where you're going to if you're going to the beach you're going to the theme park this is not one for you but this is great for every day because it does work as a you know, SPF and a moisturizer, and it wears well under makeup. Again, Obagi Medical, great products. It's what I use to keep my skin and keep the sunspots away. It's what I use every day, and it's a great, you know, product. Obviously pricey, but well worth it. Now this next one is probably the only one that's kind of like a tinted moisturizer, but I wanted to include it anyway, and it is the Jane Arundel. Uh, Glow Time Full Coverage Mineral BB Cream SPF 25. This runs $50 for 1.7 fluid ounces. Now I did get this, I believe it was the 21 Days of Beauty where it was 50% off. It was one of the Ulta 50% off sales and it was like a one day special and I did get this. So I did buy it at $25, um, but I wanted to try a Jane Arundel. I've heard great things about it and it did not disappoint. It states the Glow Time covers blemish blemishes, minimizes the appearance of pores, disguises wrinkles, and smooths and brightens skin, 100% vegan and always cruelty free. It runs, like again, $50 for 1.7 fluid ounces, and it's only titanium dioxide, 17.5%. Um, my notes is that you have to work this one in, but once you do, it has a beautiful finish. Despite the name, you aren't left greasy. Um, I, didn't, I didn't feel the need to power, powder my face, but it did leave my face looking flawless and I could wear this alone. So this is one that I'm bringing on the cruise with me um, because I think like this is what I'm going to be wearing every day when I'm at Coco Key or when I'm on the ship at the pool, this is what I'm going to be putting on. I'll probably be putting on a chemical and then this as top kind of as a foundation and just a second layer. I love the way my face looked with it. It just, it did give it a glow. This is something where you wanna wear your makeup, no makeup days. I think this is fantastic. Fantastic. Um, really, really loved it. My only complaint is this is um, it doesn't like close like that's whoops. <laughs> when it closes, it's not see how it's kind of like that. So that's my only complaint about it is the top. The packaging is really kind of crappy. So I'm kind of concerned. I'm going to put it in another plastic baggie when I pack for the cruise. But other than that, really great product. And um, I only have a couple things from Aaron Jane and Aaron Dell and they've all been fantastic. So this one didn't disappoint. So next up is the MD Solar Sciences Mineral Cream SPF 50. This runs $30 for 1.7 fluid ounces or $39 for 3.4 fluid ounces. I have the 1.7 and it says this sheer weightless broad spectrum formula goes on silky smooth with no white cast packed with vitamin C and natural antioxidants that fight sun damage and free radicals, glides on quickly and effortlessly, leaving a beautiful matte finish, perfect on its own or as a makeup primer. And yes to all of that. So I did get this for free as a gift from um, MD Solar Sciences. Thank you very much for sending this to me for purposes of reviewing, but it's, it's all of that. It is a moisturizer, makeup primer, um, now with mineral sunscreens, you all have to work them in because they have that white cast, so you do have to work them all in. So that's, but it went on beautifully. It, I wouldn't say it was like a matte, matte finish. It wasn't like a mattifying primer, but it did give, it It wasn't greasy and it left like a beautiful, 
um, a beautiful finish as a beautiful primer to put under makeup. Love this, love this, love this. I can see myself repurchasing this one, absolutely. So next up we have the Andalou Naturals Brightening Vitamin C um, BB Beauty Balm Sheer Tint SPF 30. It runs $19.99 for two fluid ounces. It states that it's a fruit stem cell a uh, complex with vitamin C are the stars of this multi-benefit balm providing broad spectrum protection from zinc oxide with a natural sheer mineral tint for flawless coverage in one easy step. It's a vegan product. Um, it's 20% zinc oxide. It goes on nicely. You do have to work it in quite a bit. It does have a very sheer tint. Um, it does even out your skin tones, um, but it does leave your face a little greasy. So this is one that I wear. I will say I picked this one on a whim. It was on sale. I, got, I think I got it at Whole Foods when I was grocery shopping. Um, it does absorb for the most part within 15 minutes. I do. It does leave your face. I do feel like it's brighter. So I will say it's like good for a no makeup makeup day. You put it on you have your sunscreen. It does leave you bright. I do feel the need to powder. So I'll put like maybe like a bare minerals um, or some powder on, but it does leave your face nice. And I get it. I put in my notes is that um, I great for no makeup days would not wear i don't think this one is good for under makeup so if all of them my least favorite is probably this one but i still like it i still wear it but it's good for those days that you're just not going to wear makeup next is the sun bum mineral spf 30 tinted sunscreen face lotion face lotion it runs 17 dollars for 1.4 1.7 fluid ounces. It is tinted and it says our tinted zinc based mineral sunscreen face lotion glides on like butter and acts like a primer, leaving a matte finish with broad spectrum SPF 30 protection. Um, it is very lightly tinted. It's a little greasy at first was my notes, but it does leave it with a matte finish. It absorbed really, really well and it wore well under makeup. Um, and it is titanium dioxide 5.8 and zinc oxide 2.4. $17.99 for 1.7 fluid ounces. So again, this is great. It kind of serves as a moisturizer, primer, sunscreen, wore well. Really impressed with this one. So this one is one that you can get at the drugstore. Um, you know, I think it's great and I, I have nothing bad to say. And I think if you're trying to compare it to some of the more expensive ones and you can't afford it, this might be one for you. Two more to go, and the next one is the Bare Republic SPF 30 Mineral Sunscreen Lotion Matte Finish, $14.99, 1.7 fluid ounces, so a little cheaper than the Sun Bum. Um, and it is zinc oxide or titanium dioxide 5.2 and zinc oxide 2.5. And this one is um, face the day protected with our surprisingly soft, non-greasy mineral matte sunscreen. Our innovative cream to powder formulation goes on as a silky feather light lotion that gently melts into skin for a sheer powdery finish while an infusion of antioxidant rich raspberry grape and carrot seed oils help fight free radicals and promote youthful looking skin year round. My notes is that it went on a, li um, a little goes a long way with this one. I do remember that I put way too much and another one that felt like a primer, really nice finish and it really wore well under makeup. So there's a lot of these that work like a primer and sunscreen in, in one. Um, this one is not, it's a, again, a matte finish. So if you are dry, this might not be for you, but if you have oily or even normal skin, my skin is pretty normal. This one I thought really wore well under makeup and gave a nice finish. So you could wear it, you know, no makeup days or under makeup as well. And our last one is the Hawaiian Tropic Mineral Skin Nourishing Milk SPF 30. Runs $15.99 for 3.4 fluid ounces. So this is a big bottle for a you know cheap price. It was the cheapest one. This sunscreen is formulated with 100% mineral actives to protect your skin from UVA and UVB rays. Unlike other mineral-based sunscreens, our formula is lightweight, easy to rub in, and won't leave a white cast or residue on your skin. Um, it does have the uh, iconic Hawaiian 
uh, tropic smell. So again, if you don't like fragrance, you're not gonna like these. My notes is that it you really needed to work it in. It smells like sunscreen, it smells like Hawaiian Tropic, but it dissipates after a while. It did leave my face a little greasy. So if you have dry skin, this might be really great for you. Um, if you have oily skin, it's probably not gonna be for you. Um, but I think it's a really great, inexpensive, everyday sunscreen. Or if you're going to the beach, this might be one for you as well. Again, I liked it, didn't love it. Um, it does leave my face a little greasy, so it's probably not gonna be one that I reach for all the time. So there you have it. Those are my breakdown of my battle of the facial <laughs> sunscreens, I guess you could say. Um, you know, I didn't want to rank them. I just kind of wanted to give an overview. My favorites are definitely the Ahava, the um, MD Solar Sciences. I really like the Neutrogena um, a serum as well because it does feel like a serum as well as the Jane Andrew. I mean, I think I'm definitely going to be using a lot of them for different purposes. Unseen sunscreen, the super group, both of them are amazing. So really just depends. Now I have a lot. I don't need sunscreen for any time soon. So I will be taking, um, I definitely will be taking at least two of them on my cruise this weekend. And um, if you are looking, if you're seeing this before on July 2nd, you know, definitely follow. I'll be posting updates. But um, as we, if you always know the best sunscreen for you is the one you're going to wear every day so if you don't like the sunscreen you're wearing or you buy you're not going to wear it so it only works if you wear it so if you like this video click like click and subscribe that way you get a notification every time i post a new video bye everyone <laughs>